So I don't want to make excuses from you know me not sleeping because of my work schedule to my stress on, with my personal and professional life over the past few days. I don't want that to be a factor in why I took this debate. The reason I took this debate was because I didn't think there was any such thing as bad publicity, and I prepared on the topics we had discussed beforehand, but he lied about the topics, which I will show in a minute. But one thing I want to say is I came into this with the utmost respect and professionalism and you know, I, I charm everyone I meet in person. I figured I could do something of the same effect on him. So, I, you know, I went in with respect for him. And unfortunately, that was not in my best interest. So I respected the topics he chose. I didn't look up any research outside of those topics, anything like that. And I could have brought up a million things in regards to vegans, diets being deficient, negative things that have happened to vegans, vegans' parents killing their children. I could talk about very apparent negative things about him and his past problems. Vegan. I could have talked about a million negative things about veganism. And I could have also brought up another million topics about how meat consumption is lower now, but heart disease is higher. You know, I, And I did try to bring up things like, oh, well, the lipid hypothesis is based off of rabbits and, and just other BS that he just threw out the window. And even the nutrient density thing, guys, I can't even get carnivores to consume a nutrient-dense diet. You think I could argue that against vegans? Please. All of these things I've thought about. And for those of you guys saying my debate skills are lacking, l let me show you this information. So this was the tweet discussing our debate. And before, he, he said, don't be a pussy. If you're not interested in having a debate, then I'm not interested. And I wanted to have more of a discussion on various topics. And he didn't agree to the topics I wanted to initially discuss on. So what he said then was... I'd be interested in debating the health consequences of a carnivore diet, including heart disease, diabetes, and cancer, and I'd like to debate the ethical principles of veganism. So let's throw out ethical principles of veganism because um, that's not really relevant to what I'm upset about. He said, I'd be interested in debating the health consequences of a carnivore diet, including heart disease, diabetes, and cancer. So what I did was I looked up things in relation to the carnivore diet and heart disease. You know, why would meat cause heart disease? Why would meat cause diabetes? And why would meat cause cancer? And we didn't discuss any of that. He might try to argue that, oh, well, heme iron, the studies that he linked to me with heme iron was with diabetes and cancer. But no, his main argument was that heme iron caused oxidation, which is nothing of what we spoke about. And I'm very well versed in heme iron and its inflammatory properties in regards to nitrosamines, but we didn't spoke, he didn't tell me about that at all. And the first one about heart disease, is the atherosclerosis in these mummies technically a topic about heart disease? Well, Heart disease and related to the carnivore diet, these people were not on a carnivore diet. Those people in that mummy study were on a diet of fish, vegetables, and grains. So regardless of what Vegan Gains tries to justify in telling me these topics and tries to loosely connect them with what he said, I think anyone who interprets what he said here is not what we debated about. This is why I am so upset. You know, some people think I look stupid in this debate. Some people are insulting my intelligence, but I still think I conveyed myself. And the reason I was saying I don't want to discuss these topics, I'd like to move on, is because I didn't have research on this because he's he's literally linking me studies in and under the stress of the live stream that was very difficult to study. It took me eight minutes in my debunk video. Guys, I debunked everything in eight minutes over this three and a half hour podcast, the video I did last night. Like, without the stress of the live stream and ab the ability to just read the full study, which he refused to give me. He refused to give me the full study. He said heme iron causes oxidation when it's not heme iron. Iron sulfide causes oxidation. And he said calcification is in these mummies when the CT scans are invalid measures for atherosclerosis. There's just so much lying and misleading that he did to me that uh, I feel like he needs to set this right. Let's just say Frankie the Face might get some sort of craving for some tiny animal's over the next few days if Vegan Gains doesn't respond to this video. Sooner than later. Just of the utmost importance as I feel, you know, the way he misled me to tarnish my reputation and intelligence is very personal. And the banter between me and Goji Man and that type of stuff is drastically different than misleading someone into a debate and setting them up for failure. Which is essentially what he did, in my eyes. Guys, let me know if I sound crazy here, but either way, uh, I really, you know, I've thought about this a lot over the past, well, as long as I know it's only been a day, but, you know, I've thought about this fairly in depth, and from my perspective, this was obviously a setup. You know, this was not fair to me, this was not, you know, something I should have done if I knew this was going to happen, and there needs to be a consequence for him, but I, how can I hurt him? I have... You know, how many people watch my videos compared to his? What can I do? Can I say that I'm going to start, you know, 
doing negative things that would go against his morals because of him and what he did to me? Should I start doing things like that? You know? How crazy would that be? That goes, that seems like almost as crazy as him. Does this sound fair? What if I set up a debate and I gave him three topics and then we did a debate on entirely something else and the ball was in my court and he had to debunk all the studies I gave him? That would never happen, right? We'd have to be on the flat earth for that to happen.